So in this lecture, we are going to discuss the blood flow and methods of measuring the blood flow. Blood flow is simply the quantity of blood that passes through a given point in the circulation in a given period of time. So blood flow is all about the quantity and time. Suppose for example, this is a blood vessel and from this, in this blood vessel, 100 ml of blood passes in one second. The blood flow in this specific point in specific time will be 100 ml per second. So blood flow is the quantity of blood passing through a point in a given time. If it passes through, if through a given point, 100 ml is passing through once in one second, it's 100 ml per second. If 50 ml is passing in one second, it's 50 ml per second. And if 200 ml is passing in one second, it's 200 ml per second. So it's all about the quantity of blood passing through a point in a given period of time. But overall, the blood flow in the total circulation of an adult at rest is 5 liter per minute. This is called cardiac output. Normally, the human heart is pumping about 5 liter of blood per minute. And that is known as the cardiac output. So if the heart is pumping 5 liters, it's, it is um, easy to understand that the 5 liter of blood will be going and circulating in all the blood vessels of the human body. So the overall blood flow in the total circulation of an adult person at resting condition is 5 liter per minute and that's equal to cardiac output. If the patient, if the person is not resting or if uh, the person is not adult, uh, depending upon the age and the conditions, the, the value of this blood flow or the cardiac output can increase and decrease depending upon different conditions and diseases. But normally it's about 5 liter per minute. So blood flow is the quantity passing through a point in a specific time. Now what are basically the methods of measuring blood flow? Suppose for example, we have a blood vessel. Now how we are going to measure the amount of blood that is flowing in blood in this vessel. So we basically have we basically have two methods to measure the blood flow. One is the electromagnetic flow meter and the other is electro ultrasonic Doppler flow meter. In the electromagnetic flow meter, we basically use the 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 mechanism through which electricity is formed. Electricity is formed when a wire electric wire is placed between two poles of a magnet. These two poles of magnet, when they move around the wire, it generates a force in the electric wire known as electromotive force, EMF, electromotive force. And this electromotive force that has been generated in this wire due to the movement of magnets around it, it can be recorded in a meter and it will show the amount of EMF or electromotive force. And this mechanism basically used to generate electricity in a generator. Now the same method is used when a blood vessel, when a blood vessel is put instead of the electric wire between two poles of a magnet. Now the wires, they are basically connected with the blood vessel. When the magnets will move, or when the blood will move between the two poles of a magnet, it will also make an EMF of electromotive force. And that EMF will be directly proportional to the flow of blood. If the flow increases, the EMF will increase. If the flow decreases, the EMF of electromotive force will be decreased. And this EMF can be recorded with the help of wires in a meter. So by simply connecting a probe, around a blood vessel, we can see the flow in a blood vessel with the help of electromagnetic, electromagnetic flow meter that basically uses the mechanism of a generator which makes electricity. That's the same mechanism. 
the advantage of using this electromagnetic flow meter is that it can it can detect even small changes in the flow of blood vessel because if there is a small change in the flow of blood in this blood vessel it will be recorded in this meter now the second method of measuring the blood flow in a human in any blood vessel is ultrasonic doppler flow meter now in this method a crystal is placed around a blood vessel and that crystal is generated some ultrasonic wave these waves go into the blood vessel and they basically strike the red blood cells red blood cells and they get reflected again and they are received with the help of a receiver here but when this the waves the ultrasonic waves are going towards the blood vessel their speed is high when they strike the red blood cells and come back these waves have decreased in speed the speeds have decreased and this receiver receive these waves and it can calculate the difference it can calculate the difference it can calculate the difference between the speeds of these two waves and by calculating the difference of speed in the the two waves between the this transmitter and this receiver the the machine can calculate the flow of blood so it this 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 machine this ultrasonic doppler flow meter it is basically using the the doppler effect doppler effect is the same effect when a train is coming towards you the train is coming towards you the sound the pitch of the sound is very much high when it is approaching you but once the train has passed the pitch of the sound the pitch of the sound coming towards you it is basically decreasing when it is coming towards you the pitch is increasing but it's when it's uh, go, uh, when it has passed and the pitch of the sound that's coming toward you has decreased that's basically the doppler effect and the same effect is used here when the transmitter transmits the wave they go and strike the red blood cell and they return back to the receiver with a different speed and that difference of speed that is calculated by the flow meter and it shows the elect the flow of the blood in that vessel this flow meter also has the advantage that it can also detect small changes in the flow of blood in any vessel any increase or decrease any increase or decrease in the blood flow in this vessel will lead to changes in the speed of ultrasonic wave and it will automatically be detected in the doppler flow meter this doppler flow meter is used much commonly in the hospital setup and they are used to detect these the flow of blood and they are used to detect the thrombosis in the blood uh, blood vessels like dvt and deep vein thrombosis they also have a lot of other uses so to summarize the lecture blood flow is the quantity of blood that passes through a point in a given time and in a normal adults the total circulation is in a resting condition is about 5 liter per minute that's equal to the cardiac output there are two two methods to calculate the blood flow one is the electromagnetic flow meter which basically the uses the mechanism that is used in the generator that makes the electricity in which the vessel is placed between two poles of the magnet and which generates the electromotive force and that electromotive force is recorded with the help of a meter and the second method of measuring the blood flow is ultrasonic doppler flow meter this this flow meter basically basically use the doppler effect it sends some uh, ultrasonic waves towards the blood vessel the waves strike the red blood cell and come back and they are received with the help of a receiver and the difference between the speed of the two waves is basically uh, basically helps in calculation of the blood flow so that's all about the blood flow and methods methods of measuring the blood flow thanks a lot for watching the video